here. Now, oh, just testing these Snapdragon notebooks. Should be done now. Uh, I'm just running the battery test. I'll be there for dinner. See ya. Hey guys, it's Zachary from Howard Zone, and today we'll be talking about these. Well, not the laptop specifically, but what's inside them. All these laptops you see on the table in front of me are actually powered by Qualcomm. These are actually Snapdragon X series laptops, specifically the Snapdragon X Elite. The Snapdragon X Elite actually runs on this architecture called ARM64 which is different from the x86 architecture from Intel and AMD. Now, the thing is ARM isn't exactly new. When you think about it, all your mobile processors and platforms, even from Qualcomm themselves for smartphones, smartwatches, uh, tablets, smart TVs, and Apple MacBooks, uh, Mac desktops, all running on Apple M series silicon are all ARM based. So it's really only the PC or the Windows PC that has stuck to x86 for the longest time. Here's a bit of history. Qualcomm actually introduced ARM into the Windows PC world back in 2017. And that was when the always connected PC sort of idea was born. This was a PC that operated basically like a smartphone, or at least that was the dream something that was small, light, but still instantaneous, powerful, and responsive. Fast forward till today, 2024, the Snapdragon X series has finally made this a reality in a big way. If anything, this is the chipset that's going to make Intel and AMD take note. And here are the reasons why you should too. So, you've seen our little skit and yes, that is a gross exaggeration because I'm still alive, thank you very much. But there is a nugget of truth there. These Snapdragon X Elite laptops are crazy long-lasting in terms of battery life. I, I can't remember the last time we were this excited when testing notebooks for battery performance because on average, a Snapdragon X Elite laptop runs for a solid 16 to 17 hours of office productivity and non-stop video streaming. Now, these are not Qualcomm numbers. These are our own benchmark numbers and our own review. That's on hardwarezone.com. You can check that review out. I'll put a link somewhere in the description or floating around. But the question is, how did Qualcomm do this? I mean, laptops have been around forever, right? So why don't we see more of these like double digit uh, battery life performances from laptops till now? Well, that's all down to the Snapdragon X platform. This processor or this chipset is based on cutting edge 4 nanometer process and we talked about the ARM architecture just now. ARM is just a lot more energy efficient than x86 which contributes to its, its sort of like power efficiency and long lasting battery. So what does this mean for you? Getting a Snapdragon X series laptop will truly free you from working just about anywhere you want without that creeping battery life anxiety at the back of your head. In fact, leave your power brick at home because if you do need to work 16 hours non-stop you don't need a new laptop you need a new job a snapdragon x elite laptop is powerful in its own way as a thin and light laptop that is designed for mobile productivity content creation and some entertainment on the go as well i just talked about how incredible the battery life of these laptops are and here's the thing energy efficiency is closely tied to performance. Now, generally, you had to sacrifice one to gain the other. You need to draw more power to get better performance. And the converse is true. To conserve battery life, you had to limit or throttle the performance of your laptop. Now, the Snapdragon X Elite is interesting because this is the first chipset that can do both. 
In our own benchmarks, the Snapdragon X Elite laptop actually performed better than a comparable AMD Ryzen 9 system in office productivity scores, and it even held its own in video transcoding. We tried to transcode a 4.8 gigabyte video file using Handbrake, and the Snapdragon X Elite actually came out almost six minutes faster than an Apple MacBook Air M3. You know what's the most impressive thing about all this? Throughout all our benchmarks and testing, and me using this basically um, as my productivity workhorse for the past couple of weeks, the Snapdragon X Elite laptops have basically been whisper quiet and cool to the touch even under load. Performance numbers are one thing on benchmarks, but how do you really know that these Snapdragon X Elite laptops are? powerful. This video that you're watching now and all the special effects that you're seeing are actually edited right on a Snapdragon X80 laptop. Gen AI, the next frontier in computing. Now, ChatGPT, which everybody knows, is an example of a cloud-based AI. It doesn't matter what device you have, how powerful it is, as long as you have an internet connection, you can use ChatGPT because it's processed on the cloud. What we are talking about here is AI algorithms and processors that are increasingly being used on all sorts of apps on your PC. Everything from real-time language translation, virtual backgrounds and filters for conference calls, image generation on stable diffusion in GIMP, for example. Now, the thing is, in order to run all these AI locally, you're going to need a special sort of processor. This is the NPU, the Neural Processing Unit. It's basically an AI accelerator for these AI processors. For the NPU, the industry standard in measuring the performance is called TOPS, or trillions of operations per second. The Snapdragon X Elite has one of the highest NPU TOPS in the industry today at 45 NPU TOPS. And it's because of this powerful NPU performance that have made the Snapdragon X Elite the first chipset to be certified as Microsoft Copilot Plus PC. Now, Copilot Plus is a new variation of a Windows 11 platform that has more onboard AI features and functionality. Not even Intel and AMD have processors that can power a Copilot Plus PC today, which tells you quite a lot about the power of the NPU on the Snapdragon X Elite. Here's the thing, the ARM architecture is inherently different from x86 and apps that are written for one platform just won't work for another. This is no different than apps on your Android smartphone. It's not going to work on your iOS. It's not an inherently bad thing about the Snapdragon X Elite chipset itself. It's just that developers need time to build native ARM apps that make full use of the chipset. Take Adobe, for example. They started out with Acrobat being the only supported app. Today, Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator, InDesign, Premiere Pro, Media Encoder are all compatible, and they've already mentioned that they're working on the rest of their apps. Now, many other major developers are doing the same. You can check out Qualcomm's compatibility page just to see how many apps that already run on Snapdragon X. I've been using this Snapdragon X Elite laptop just like my office laptop over here. This is a Lenovo ThinkPad. This runs on an Intel Core i7. And I've just used all the same apps and tools that I normally use in the everyday course of my work. I've personally not run into a single compatibility issue with the Snapdragon X Elite. In fact, I've been surprised by how many apps I use actually have ARM64 native versions of those apps that are available. I use Photoshop in the office, it's provided by the company, but at home on my own laptop, I have this uh, small lightweight photo editor that I've used, it's called paint.net, and even that software has ARM64 native support, and they've had it since 2021. And for apps that are not natively supported, have so far also run seamlessly via emulation which is another word that kind of has a bad rep in the Windows PC world. Emulation technology has actually come a very long way. And with Microsoft's latest Prism emulator that is part of the newest Windows 11 update, you would most likely not even notice any difference in terms of performance, speed, and compatibility of your apps. Remember when I said this whole video was made with a Snapdragon X Elite laptop? Well, we've used Photoshop, which has native ARM64, and Premiere Pro, which is emulated. And our video editor tells me that 
the Snapdragon X Elite laptop that we gave him to edit this video worked just about the same as his office provided M1 MacBook Pro. Now, the key takeaway here isn't that the Snapdragon X Elite is the best chipset ever, right? That's not how the PC industry works. You know, every other month, there's going to be somebody better out there, another chipset, another newer processor. Intel is going to one-up AMD. AMD is going to one-up Intel again, except this time, Qualcomm has thrown its hat into the ring and they are a legitimate third player in this game. The Snapdragon X platform has proven itself to be the jolt that the Windows PC needs to evolve. It is the first consumer chipset to provide double-digit battery life in a powerful yet thin, light and quiet system. It is also the first chipset to sort of introduce and open the doors to the future of AI processing with a powerful NPU. And Qualcomm has also introduced a competing architecture into the Windows PC, which is the ARM architecture, and it's doing real great things. In a way, they are the innovators here. What you see here is just a sampling of what's out there in the market. We've been testing out these notebooks, and by the time you watch this video, some of these would already have been reviewed. Head on down to howizone.com and check out these reviews in detail. Well, that's it from me, but how about you? Do you own a Snapdragon X Elite laptop or plan to get one soon? Does your user experience differ from ours? Do let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and have a nice day.